Hey folks, this is Michael Munson with Forge again. I just wanted to take a moment to talk a little bit about medications and routines. Many of us are in uh, different routines right now, living at home, uh, maybe not going to work as often or working different hours of, of shifts for our essential workers. And it may be difficult to keep up with your usual pattern of maintaining your medication regime. So I just wanted to remind folks that it's really important to figure out a new pattern of how you'll remember to take your meds, when you'll take them, where you wanna put them, um, and, and figure out how that looks now in this time of change and this new world as we're transitioning, um, hopefully back to normal soon. So um, just a reminder for folks, um, I tend to use, well, I, I do use pill pack, which makes these little, wonderful pill packs that I just rip off a section every day. But again, I have to remember to, to take them. So my usual pattern had been to put one of these strips into my messenger bag every morning, and then away I would go for the day and I would take them when I had breakfast um, at my office. So now it's a little bit different since I'm not going to um, an external office, I'm, I'm staying in my, my home. And so I need to create a different pattern. Um, same for things like, um, I've got this little pill box that's labeled Claritin, so, you know, seasonal allergies. It's also got some Advil and things in it, too. So, um, again, you know, where is this pill box and where am I going to be remembering to, to take these meds? Um, it might be important, too, to, like, you know, if we're kind of having a hard time figuring out what day it is or remembering things, um, sometimes using a pill bottle like this is not helpful since it doesn't remind us that we've taken a day, uh, our day's pill on Sunday, for example, um, or Monday. So I really encourage folks that if you're not using something like pill pack that has a pre-selected, pre-packaged um, kind of container to use a seven-day or 14-day pill pack. Um, I also wanted to just briefly mention that a lot of folks we're hearing are not um, wanting to maintain their, their dosages of PrEP. So pre-exposure, uh, PrEP, you know, PrEP. We wanna make sure that folks, um, even though you're not sexually active right now, and if you're on PrEP, that you um, maintain your dosages because you never know when you may wanna be sexual or when you're gonna have an opportunity or when this uh, kind of, physical distancing ban is going to end. So one of the things that we know is that um, different bodies and different body tissues are a little bit different in terms of how long PrEP takes to build up in a system. So just a kind of reminder that folks that are having um, anal sex, it's gonna take about seven days for PrEP to build up in your system to be effective. If you have vaginal tissue or front hole tissue and use that for sexual activity, it's gonna take 21 days. So um, for both of those reasons, if you're having um, sex that involves those parts, you may wanna just maintain your dosage of and regular um, uh, administration of PrEP throughout this, this time of crisis so that you're prepared um, when it's time to um, have some fun and have sex with folks. So again, just a reminder for folks about, you know, maintaining PrEP if you can, um, using things like seven-day pill boxes to load up your pills if you don't already, finding a new routine if you don't have one already about like where do you put your pills so that you remember to take them every day. So that is the helpful reminder, maybe not so helpful, but um, just we want to make sure that you're taking your meds, especially if they're psych meds or meds that you need for your body or your mind's wellness um, every day. Thanks. Bye-bye.